Hello and welcome to another complete Cambridge IGCSE chemistry lesson where you will learn absolutely everything you need to know on topic 2.5 simple molecules and covalent bonds. As always we'll be following the Cambridge syllabus exactly and we'll learn absolutely everything you need to know for your final exam. Before we begin a quick reminder that I'm only uploading half of the topics in the syllabus to YouTube but if you want access to the entire syllabus you can find a link to my Patreon in the description. Also if you like the slides I use in my videos they will eventually be available to download soon after I've finished producing all the videos. So a covalent bond is formed when a pair of electrons is shared between two atoms. This leads to noble gas electronic configurations, meaning every bonded atom has a full outer shell of electrons. For example, two hydrogen atoms share one pair of electrons, giving both atoms a full stable outer shell. Remember the first shell holds up to two electrons, and every other shell after that holds up to eight. Now when covalent bonds form between atoms, the resulting molecules are uncharged, and this is because no electrons are lost or gained in the process. Covalent bonds can be single, double or triple depending on the number of electrons that are shared. Covalent bonding only occurs in elements and compounds containing non-metallic elements. Next, you need to describe the formation of covalent bonds in simple molecules using dot and cross diagrams. The first is hydrogen, which consists of two hydrogen atoms joined together by a single covalent bond. This gives each atom a full stable outer shell of two electrons. Chlorine has seven electrons in its outer shell and therefore needs one more to achieve a noble gas electronic configuration. It shares one pair of electrons with another chlorine atom to form a stable chlorine molecule with the formula Cl2. Note that when drawing dot and cross diagrams, you only need to show the outer shell electrons. Next, we have water, which is made of hydrogen and oxygen. Because oxygen has only six electrons in its outer shell, it forms two single covalent bonds with two hydrogen atoms, resulting in a stable molecule with the formula H2O. The formula for methane is CH4, which tells us that it contains one carbon and four hydrogen atoms. Carbon has four electrons in its outer shell, so it forms four single covalent bonds, leaving it with a full outer shell of eight. Nitrogen has five outer shell electrons, so it bonds with three hydrogen atoms to form ammonia, which has the formula NH3. Finally, hydrogen and chlorine share one pair of electrons to form hydrogen chloride, or HCl. Next, you need to describe the properties of simple molecular compounds in terms of structure and bonding. So simple molecular compounds have low melting and boiling points, which is why many are gaseous at room temperature. This is because molecules are attracted to one another by weak intermolecular forces that are easily broken when a substance is heated. Simple molecular compounds are also poor conductors of electricity, and this is because they're made of uncharged molecules. Okay, that's everything you need to know for core, so we'll move on now to the extended section. For extended, you need to describe the formation of covalent bonds in simple molecules with multiple bonds. The first is methanol, which has the chemical formula CH3OH. One carbon atom forms three single covalent bonds with three hydrogen atoms, and one single covalent bond with oxygen. Oxygen shares another pair of electrons with a fourth hydrogen atom, giving all six atoms a full outer shell. Ethene is made of two carbon and four hydrogen atoms. Each carbon atom forms a single bond with two hydrogen atoms, bringing the number of outer shell electrons up to six. To achieve a full outer shell, each carbon atom shares two pairs of electrons with the other, forming a double covalent bond. Next we have oxygen, which also involves a double bond. Two pairs of electrons are shared between two oxygen atoms, resulting in a stable O2 molecule. Carbon dioxide, or CO2, has two double bonds. One carbon atom shares two pairs of electrons with two oxygen atoms, leaving all three atoms with a full outer shell. Finally, nitrogen has five outer shell electrons and therefore needs three more. To achieve a noble gas electronic configuration, two nitrogen atoms share three pairs of electrons, forming a triple covalent bond. Finally, you need to explain the properties of simple molecular compounds in a little more detail. So as previously mentioned, simple molecular compounds have low melting and boiling points due to weak intermolecular forces of attraction. It's important to note that covalent bonds are strong and don't break when simple molecular substances melt. Only the weak intermolecular forces break. 
These intermolecular forces are only present between simple molecules. They don't exist in ionic substances, metals, or substances with giant covalent structures. Simple molecular compounds are also poor conductors of electricity. Because no electrons are lost or gained when covalent bonds form, molecules all have the same number of protons and electrons, and are therefore uncharged. Unlike with ionic or metallic substances, there are no free-moving ions or electrons electrons to carry a charge. Well done, you've just covered absolutely everything you need to know on topic 2.5, simple molecules and covalent bonds. If you benefited from this video, remember to subscribe to the channel and check out my Patreon, where I'll be uploading the entire chemistry syllabus. Join me there for our next lesson on topic 2.6, giant covalent structures.